One of my favorite fabrics to work with when landscape quilting is hand-dyed fabrics. And Wendy Richardson, my guest, is a master at dyeing fabrics. And Thank you. Wendy, people ask me if I dye my own fabrics, and I say, no, I, I leave it to the pros. And I think okay. what our viewers would like to know is some of the processes that you work with. Well, I use Procyon dyes. That's one product that a lot of dyers use. And I pick out certain fabrics. A lot of times it's fabrics that are already printed. So this was over dyed. Right, that's over dyed. So there's already either color or a design mm -hmm. on the fabric as opposed to Just a, a solid, a solid like sure. muslin fabric. So and the thing that's I think is fun is I can use different colors on the same mm -hmm. print. Sure or multicolors on the on a solid or a print so that's kind of also technically an over dye even though it's a solid it's got more than one color so you dye it once and then dye it a second well time. in the same process you can so and you use you do this in your laundry room i do it in my laundry <laughs> room with a tiny little room but i have a system worked out and a lot of buckets and containers and so you put the fabric in the in a bucket. In a soda ash solution and then um, wring it out and then I mix up the colors, uh -huh. which is all pretty much how I feel that day. It's just kind of, or what the fabric says. The, sure. the prints kind of dictate colors more than sure, the solids. solid. So, solid. And then, yeah. And then you dip and, and... I mix all the colors up and pour them on and then they have to sit for a couple hours. And then they get washed a lot and processed and so at night it's like Christmas. Yeah, it's a surprise. It's, well not it's just fun oh, you know hopefully it's not too much of a surprise <laughs> so it's like it's what I well, wanted. Sure, sure. So, But I, what I find fascinating is that you over dye dye vintage linens and sure. crochets and sure. little fun things to work with which can be you're not having to make a quilt you can just embellish with these right. and, and work use it, it small. in your home or yeah. or working on a quilt a crazy yeah. quilt sure now here are some interesting new processes at least to me i've been playing with shibori which is shibori. really fun okay. shibori so it's a uh, pleated sure pleated um just use Lovely. my hands and pleat it all up and Put it in a tray, uh -huh. so and then pour the colors on. So wow, what this a... is more of a surprise than the others. So, so. <laughs> well, it but really is a, a striking piece of fabric. I have enjoyed doing those a lot. So I'm going to reach behind me yeah. and um, pull out a vintage tablecloth. tablecloth. Now, yes. if you have some tablecloths at home that are stained, mm -hmm. uh, this is now a transformed tablecloth. Transformed. Yep. So this you is, don't have to worry about all this, the stains. This is spectacular. Now, <laughs> Thank you. our viewers might know that I enjoy landscape quilting and I have purchased many of Wendy's backgrounds for mm -hmm. the for landscapes. Your new dyeing technique, you almost create a scene in those right. in those fabrics. Right. So you have almost like the foreground, the midsection right. and the, the sky. Landscape and the sky and the flowers or grasses and things. When you're yeah. looking at these pieces, you can almost envision a scene instantaneously. It's, it's, <laughs> it's wonderful. Well, I want people to see that. So, so it helps them take the next step and be creative on their own. Uh -huh. So I like that part of it. Well, yeah. you have done amazing work, Thank refined you dyeing a fabric made it just I, I call this eye candy so eye Wendy candy. thank you for what you do <laughs> you. for the sewing and quilting world and thank, thank you for you. being our guest thanks for having me